conditions uh, have a hint of fall in the air as we go into the overnight hours. Also starting to see it around our community. This was sent in uh, by Beth to our 13 Weather Authority photo community. Starting to see some trees change. Now keep in mind these early fall leaves uh, are likely due to the change in daylight, not the change in temperature just yet. The trees start to change because of the shortening days and then the cooler weather kind of kicks that process into overdrive. So likely to see those fall leaves moving forward. The hint of fall in the air though as we go into tomorrow morning low 50s a few spots west of Rockford could be dropping down close to if not into the upper 40s going into the morning hours uh, before we rebound quickly from there. Uh, so overnight and into early tomorrow morning expect some slightly brisk conditions at least by late summer early fall standards of course 53 in the forecast for tonight and then again we heat up pretty quickly in the morning not long after sunrise we're already getting back into the 70s going to see a lot of sunshine over the course of those morning hours and just plan on possibly light jacket weather early on in the morning before uh, the heat starts to kick on in like today low 80s for tomorrow afternoon under a mostly sunny sky expecting comfortable conditions again with low humidity and a light breeze out of the east and this is a good departure uh, from the heat that we just got out of meteorological summer ending yesterday fourth hottest summer on record last year also in the top 10 for heat and you'll notice a trend here last year also in the top 20 for driest summers on record Saw that again as of this summer, just edging out 2020. Difference between the two, though, we saw a lot more in the way of days in the 90s. 30 of them, nearly double average, and that's a good third of the summer. And some hints of climate change ongoing. We've got a couple years in a row now with uh, top 10 hottest summers. Also seeing drier conditions. We'll have to see if this trend continues over the coming years. Uh, now, we've got quiet weather now, but definitely a different story on the East Coast. The remnants of Ida producing catastrophic flooding in New Jersey and New York City. Uh, we're seeing uh, possibly over eight inches of rainfall in some spots of New Jersey within the span of a couple hours. It was coming down three inches an hour with all sorts of flooding ongoing across uh, the East Coast. Flood, uh, flash flood emergencies in effect on top of the tornadoes that they saw earlier on in the day uh, it just shows that even the leftovers of a hurricane can still cause some devastating weather. Now for us, a lot quieter going into the holiday weekend. May have some rain for Friday, but the rest of the holiday weekend into the upper 70s to low 80s with sunshine. You look at future track on Friday, and that does have some spotty showers working in during the afternoon. So definitely not a washout, but keep in mind, may not be fully dry for the start of the weekend. We are going to put a slight chance for rain into Saturday morning as future track does have a couple of those scattered sprinkles hanging around uh, for that start of the weekend. As you'll see, though, we're back into the low 80s of sunshine by the end of the holiday weekend and in your most accurate 10 day forecast we'll kind of dance back and forth between the 70s and 80s throughout next week so that summer warmth definitely not over yet and we had some of that today a forecast for today was 81 we got up to 82 so definitely still on target 81 again for tomorrow as the cash total keeps growing Brittany. all right that jackpot getting higher and higher alex thanks for that